So, Gary Lineker is back on the BBC. He's back hosting Match of the Day. And it's a great shame, really, that the BBC didn't have the backbone to deal with him more strictly and uh, get rid of him completely after what happened, especially the Champagne Socialist uh, Solidarity mutineers who all refused to do their jobs uh, unless he was reinstated. And the first thing this insufferable virtue signalling arsepipe does is tweet sympathy with illegal migrants. I mean, he, he can't help himself. He really cannot help himself. Or can he? And he's just trolling us the whole time. Because look at this. Tonight, well, this video is posted uh, the morning after Match of the Day, but I'm making it before it airs. I won't be watching it, but I hope to God, to dear God, the, um, the viewing figures are like rock bottom. Because as you know, last week when he was suspended and nobody was hosting it, there was no commentary, viewing figures was up. Now, if I was the top dog in the BBC, the chairman, I'd stick to that format because it's a successful one. More viewers clearly means more revenue. And that's the basic uh, premise of every business, isn't it? After all, the BBC is a business. And here we have a handful of employees which are surplus to requirements. So anyway, before last night's uh, match of the day, he tweeted this. Ah, the joys of being allowed to stick to football. He was always allowed to stick to football. He claimed he was freelance and nobody had any whip hand over him uh, controlling what he tweeted and what his opinions on social media was. So why now? I'm telling you, folks, this guy is out to antagonise. He's out to troll. He's out to cause trouble. And it's only a matter of time before he tweets an ill-informed political opinion and calls everyone who disagrees with him a Nazi once again. These people can't help themselves. They're insufferable. They're woke. And thanks to the spineless BBC, he has literally got away with it. There we go. That's my video. Hope you like. Let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, Roger Trout.